Congratulations, another terrifying movie of this franchise. Thank you. Both of you have been working in this franchise for such a long time. Yep. Rather than me asking you how you keep it fresh for the audiences, how do you keep it fresh for yourselves? Um, I think, you know what, this, like, this story in particular, we've lived with Tobin Bell for 20 years as a human. We've seen John Kramer and we wanted to have a John Kramer story. We wanted this story where the first almost 30 minutes of the movie are John Kramer, who's no different than you or I, is a human who's sick and wants to extend his life. And so for us, it's really exciting to see the transition, then he turns into Jigsaw. And it's, it's, it's for us, that, that something like that keeps it fresh. Now, how did you guys come to the decision of making this sort of like an international base, going to Mexico on, on something like this? Well, the storyline dictated that we shoot it outside of the country. Just wouldn't have worked if they were going from Los Angeles to Kansas City for an experimental treatment. So originally we were going to shoot it in Eastern Europe. And then we you know, started doing a bunch of research and found out how big our, where our audience is coming from and who's coming to see the Saw movies. And we decided we're going to switch it to Mexico City. And we fell in love with the city. The people there were great. The crew was amazing. The local actors that we hired knocked it out of the park. Was it more of a challenge when you uh, did it in Mexico City or it actually was easier for you guys? The crew was great. The crew I mean, we great. had zero problems making the movie we had there. A COVID issue, but it would, could have happened yeah, if we were in New Jersey, anywhere. it wouldn't have mattered. I mean, it, um, or Toronto. For us, it, I mean, shooting wise and everything, <coughs> we were really fortunate. Really fortunate. The, the director got COVID, the DP got COVID, Tobin got So we kind of, it took a little while longer to shoot than we had anticipated. Wow. You but it was, it. it was fun. It was a great shoot. It was a great shoot. It really was. Now, of course, you know, um, this, this is being the story of uh, Tobin Bell J Jigsaw and all, all that. And a lot of people adore him, at, looks up to him as a hero. But do you guys always like to see the victims as the villains in a lot of these films? Well, I think it makes things easier. I mean, I don't think we should be killing people that didn't deserve it. I don't think we've ever killed anybody in a saw trap that hasn't deserved it. Me. You. Well, you deserved it. I got, I got in a saw back story. We're going to get yeah. into your backstory in a future movie. They killed me. Warren was in Saw 1. Which Sean, is... Shawnee Smith had to cut his stomach open to get the key. That's true. It's yeah, but I, didn't, but I didn't deserve it. You don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what you did. Why was the key inside you? Ask James. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask the question that a lot of people do want to want to ask, uh, want to know is after, after all these movies, after all these traps, all, the, all these props, what graveyard do they go to? What, what, whose house do they go to? We, we have all the saw traps in a saw warehouse that we've kind of just been collecting stuff for the last couple of years, last couple of movies there. There's props, there's wardrobe, there's a little bit of everything. Don't know what we'll do with it one day, but it's there. Oh. Hopefully we'll have a museum and see, have ever, all the trap yeah, traps see the We still have the saw bathroom built in Mexico City that we left standing yeah. there in a warehouse. Wow. In case we ever have to go back to it. Just in case. Just in case. You never Thank know. you. Thank, Thank you. you.